Welcome back to CAD Jungle. In today's exercise, we're going to be creating this object here. Let's hop right to it. Let's start out by, you guessed it, creating a new component. We're going to create a sketch. We're going to put it on the top plane. Let's use the center rectangle tool. Let's make the dimensions as follows. For the side, we're going to make it 70 millimeters. Hit the tab key and make the top 110 millimeters. What we want to do now is use the fillet command. We're going to be selecting all four corners. We're going to make it eight millimeters. We can ignore the warnings because the sketch is still fully defined, as you can see. We're going to use the extrude command by pressing the E key. I'm going to raise the height to about 10 millimeters. I'm going to create a sketch. I'm going to put it on this top face here. And what we're going to be making now is these four circles right here. Use the center diameter circle tool. And right here at this arc, you can find a circle that you can lock onto. And we'll just go ahead and create a circle here, 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 and here, basically at all four corners. We want to dimension this circle and make it about 16 millimeters. Now, we're going to select all four of these circles. Hit the control key, select all four circles, and we're going to use the equal command. And all circles are equal size and diameter. Let's go ahead and hit the E key again. We want to extrude these four profiles we just created. We're going to set the dimensions to be two millimeters. Next, what we want to do is create these holes. So let's go ahead and bring up the previous sketch. Use a sketch command. Select this face here. We want to hit the P key for project, and we want to project these four circles. Finish the sketch. Let's use the hole command. And we're going to use the previous sketch to place the holes. So under placement, we're going to select multiple holes. going to select the centers of each. We want to make it 8.5 millimeters. We want the distance to be all. And there you have it. Next, we're going to be creating this round portion here. So let's rotate the object. Select the right view. Let's go ahead and turn off that sketch. 
to create a sketch on the visible plane, we're going to create two circles, center diameter. First circle is going to make 38 millimeters. Second circle, we're going to make 50 millimeters. Let's add some dimensions so we can lock it into place. From the center point to this center point here, we're going to make this distance 60 millimeters. And we want to constrain the center point to the center point. And now the sketch is fully defined. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Use the extrude command, hit the E key. Select this outside profile. We want the direction to be symmetric. Measurement's gonna be whole length. We want it to be 68 millimeters. Next, we're gonna be creating this shape here. Select the right view. Create a sketch on the visible plane. Just create a center diameter circle directly in the center. Want to make this 60 millimeters. We're going to use the two point rectangle. We're going to create a rectangle around the object. Let's use the coincident tool. Select this bottom line and select the center point. We're going to select the tangent command, select the top point, correction the top line, and select the circle. And what we're going to do is drag this point until it snaps into place on this edge of the circle and select this point until it snaps into place on this edge of the circle. Let's select the bottom line and make this a construction line. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Let's choose the extrude command and select the previous profile we just created. want the direction to be symmetric. Measurement's gonna be whole length. I'm gonna set the dimensions to 24 millimeters. Operation's gonna be set to join, not cut. Next, we're gonna be creating this portion here that arches over the top. Let's select the front view, create a sketch on the visible plane. We're going to use the arc command, center point arc. Step down until we see the X in the triangle. Go over to the right or the left, doesn't matter. Wait till you get to the point, it snaps into place, rotate it around, or you can just simply just grab this point here. Finish the sketch. Choose the extrude command. Previous profile selected. We're gonna make the direction symmetric. Measurement's gonna be whole length. I wanna set the dimension to 40 millimeters. Next, we're gonna be creating a slot here. Let's select the right view.
Create a scratch on the visible plane. And select the line tool. I'm going to draw a line as such. Let's add some dimensions. This line here, we're going to make 20 millimeters. Correction, 12 millimeters. And this point to this point, we're going to make 8 millimeters. Finish the sketch. Select extrude command. Direction is going to be symmetric. Distance extent type is going to be to all. Operation is going to be set to cut. And there you have it. Let's use the mirror command so we can do the same thing on the other side. Type is going to be set to features. Select the previous extrusion. The mirror plane it's going to be this plane here. Compute option can either be any one of the three, but we'll select optimized. Click OK. Now, what we want to add is this portion right here that goes from the bottom of the base up to the top of the circle. Let's create a sketch. Put it on this face here. Select the center rectangle tool. Start in the center. Drag it out. Left side dimension is going to be 8 millimeters. Hit the tab key and make this 56 millimeters. Finish the sketch. Select the screw command again or E key. Select the profile we previously created. And distance is going to be two object. We'll select the cylinder here. Operation is going to be set to join. Next, we're going to do is add this side here as well. To do this, we're going to be using the rib command. Select the left view or front view. Actually, let's select the right view. Create a sketch on the visible plane. And let's draw the profile. Start out with the line tool. You should be able to snap into place about right here. Bring the line down. At an angle. Make sure it goes beyond the first lip down to the second lip. And the reason is, is because if we stopped here, it'd leave a gap. Let's add some dimensions so we can constrain the sketch. Let's make this line 20 millimeters in length and this point to this point for this line also 20 millimeters in length. Let's finish the sketch. Let's use the rib command. Select this line. I want it to be 8 millimeters in width. Thickness direction is going to be symmetric. And if you run into a situation where it's on the opposite side, just flip direction. And now we want to mirror the other side. Select the mirror command. Features is the rib we just created. Mirror plane. It's going to be this plane here. We'll left click and hold until we see the actual plane we want, which is X and Z. Compute option is going to be set to adjust. Let's create these holes. Let's 
select the front view, select the whole command, select this face. I'm going to draw the hold in the center. Distance is going to be set to all. Let's make the hole 11 millimeters. And last but not least, we're going to be creating a slot here in the center. Let's create a sketch. Select the right view. And let's put it on this visible plane here, which is the YZ plane. And let's create a line. From the center, let's drag it up. Doesn't have to be any specific length. In this case, you don't need to uh, define this uh, sketch. Finish the sketch. We're going to use the extrude command. But this time, we're going to be using a thin extrude. I'm going to select the line we just created. And make sure nothing else is selected. Let's make the wall thickness three millimeters. We want the direction to be symmetric. And distance is going to be all. Wall location, we want to be centered. Let's check wall thickness again. Three millimeters. And it's complete. Hit the A key, we can give it some color. Set it to whatever you like. Make the glossiness 0 0.06. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the exercise. I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial. Stick around, and I shall see you in the next video.